What is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So this week I actually decided not to film the entire week. So it's actually Friday and instead of filming the whole week, I'm just going to be filming Friday through Sunday. So kind of like a weekend vlog instead of like a full vlog, instead of like a full week vlog. So even though I am just eating my breakfast now, I'm like really bad at making toast. It's like burnt on one side and then like not even done on the other side. And I'm talking with food in my mouth. So today I actually got my coffee from McDonald's and went to the gym a little bit earlier. So I did that and I came home and I took a shower and now I'm eating my breakfast. I'm not really a big morning eater. My, I, I just kind of eat because my stomach starts feeling uncomfortable because there's no food in it. So then I have to eat something. So I'm like a really big evening eater. I eat way too much at night. Anyway, I'm just going to finish eating this and then I think I'm going to put some makeup on and try to make myself look a little more put together so I can be more productive today. So now I'm gonna deal with all of this and try to look less like a zombie so then maybe I will feel like I am ready to do work. Adorable? Yes. Okay, well I guess I can show you guys my like daily, not even daily because I only really do this whenever I feel like getting ready, which isn't very often, but First, I'm gonna use some sunscreen. You know what? If you just use one skincare product, sunscreen is the one. It's really the only one you need, in my opinion. I don't really use too many products on my skin because I'm kind of one of those people who feel like probably putting more products and chemicals on your skin isn't going to help all that much. So I just like putting sunscreen on because I know that protecting your skin from the sun will help with aging and all the bad things that the sun can do to your skin over time. Anyway, and then I also use concealer and the concealer I use is this Tower 28 one. Um, I got it from Sephora and, and it was like one of like the clean makeup options. And I just put a little bit of that under my eyes so that I look less like a zombie and on my forehead and my chin just to like even out my skin tone and brighten up my face a little bit. And I use my hands to put all of my makeup on because, yeah, just because it works, all right? Using your hands works, it works for me. And I can do it even with my long nails, so. Next, I go in with some blush, and this is just a very crusty nude stick, also from Sephora, in the color Poppy Girl. Um, this has gone through a lot. It has a bunch of foundation and concealer all over it, which is why it looks so crusty, dusty. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. And this also at Sephora said that it was like a clean makeup option, so cool. And I just put that like kind of like in the corners of my face to try to make my cheekbones look more pronounced, I guess. Kind of like blend it upwards. I'm definitely not like a makeup artist guru, all right? I have like one makeup video on this channel that I did because I thought it would be fun. I was kind of in the mood to make myself look nice and 
that was just like a rare occurrence. So I just kind of do whatever. Then I actually feel like doing a little bit of eyeliner. I feel like being a little extra today. So I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Got this from Walmart. And I don't know if I can do this on camera very well, but I kind of just wing it. I think that's fine. It's a little bit thicker on my eyelid than I'd like. But I don't really feel like fixing it and possibly messing it up, so I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm actually impressed with how well I did that. I'm just gonna do this on the other side and I'll be back in a second. And there we go. Don't look at it too, don't, don't look at it too closely. Okay, so eyeliner done and I don't really do my eyebrows. I just take a brush, looks good to me. And then I'm using my Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. Pretty sure this is also from Walmart. And I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on to complete this look. I mostly like putting it like a lot in the corner of my upper lashes. I'm just trying to like emphasize those ones. I used to put mascara more on my bottom lashes too, but I found that it actually looks better, I think. It looks like more natural if I don't put them or if I don't like put mascara on them. So I don't. All right, so I think I'm done with my makeup. Oh, actually, chapstick for my crusty lips. Nice. Now I'm gonna just fix this hair situation real quick. So I'm gonna start by spraying some heat primer on it. I hate when I spray this stuff on my face. Okay. Now I'm just gonna blow dry it out a little bit because it is still a bit damp and I do want to straighten it, so. And now we're gonna straighten this mess. is not wanting to cooperate much with me today and I feel like it's just feeling like so dry. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of this Opalex number no. seven bonding oil in it to maybe help revive it a tiny bit, especially near the ends. It's looking so frazzled. I don't know if that helped at all, but I think that it's fine. I think that I'm looking and feeling much better, ready to attack the things I need to do. I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. Thanks for getting ready with me. To go for a walk, huh? Who wants to go for a walk, huh? You want to go for a walk, huh? Yeah, 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 you do. Okay, we're going, we're going, baby, we're going. Dexter, wait. Let's 
go, baby. He just loves the gutter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Me and Dexter made it to our favorite location. It's like on top of the hill where this big power pole thing is, which probably isn't the most safest place to be, to be honest, but it's really nice because look at the view of like San Diego from like all of the mountains and everything is so nice. I love the mountains. It's literally what I love most about San Diego. The mountains are so nice. I love the mountains. Dexter, you're gonna hurt yourself. This is also my favorite place to be during the walk because it's the only place I don't have to worry about running into other dogs because Dexter here. Dexter, come here, come here. Because Dexter here, Mr. Dexter is, suffers from anxiety, don't you? It's okay, Dexter, I understand. He gets really scared whenever he sees another dog. It's weird because he doesn't get mad when he sees like normal people walking by, he doesn't get mad. But if someone runs up from behind us, he gets mad. And if someone's walking with another dog, he gets mad. So whenever I take him for a walk, it's kind of like, please let's not run into anybody because it's so embarrassing when he goes crazy. Who was an excellent boy and behaved perfectly on our walk? You were Dexter. You were Pa. Pa. <laughs> Good boy. I love you. Okay. Hey guys, so I got my coffee, I wrote my schedule for the day, but then I was just feeling like so off. And even though I slept in like a lot, which I think is because I was feeling like so overwhelmed and a lot more anxiety than usual yesterday. I mean, I think my brain just needed the extra rest, so I'm not mad for sleeping in. So I'm trying not to be mad at myself for feeling off because I know the way my brain works, I will just get it done really quick whenever my brain doesn't feel off anymore. So yeah, right now I am literally just gonna lay here and watch YouTube until my brain decides that I want to grind out my to-do list. So we'll see how long that takes, but I will check back in with you guys later. that I'm actually just gonna go to the gym right now because I, I don't know, I think being at the gym will hype me up for the day maybe. We'll see.
actually did something crazy today, which was skip my McDonald's coffee. And I came home and I just made a chai because I bought an energy drink and then like my tummy was kind of just feeling iffy. Like, you know, when you just like your stomach hurts because you drank too much caffeine. It's kind of how it was feeling. So I made a chai to energize me. Yummy. And I'm going to tidy up my room a little bit. So yeah, let's do this. I have like this pile of clothes right here that I kind of just like put the clothes there that aren't supposed to go in the laundry, but I just like need to put them away. I put them there so that they're not all over my room. So I'm gonna fold all of these and put them away. putting away my clothes that didn't take long at all that took like not even 10 minutes the next thing that I want to do is kind of just remake my bed because it gets very I don't know just not neat so I'm just gonna like take off all the pillows remake it put my little clan over there back together I call this my clan on my little fluffies that I love mission number two remake the bed Making my bed did not take too long. It took 15 minutes, which is longer than putting away my clothes did, but it looks so much nicer now. Making my bed, I feel like, makes my entire room just look neater. Like, it just looks so much nicer with a made bed. If you don't want to clean up your whole room, just make your bed. You'll feel so much better. So the last thing I want to do to kind of tidy up is dust a little bit because my room just gets so dusty especially because I have my nail desk over here and I do my nails in here so it gets really dusty and because I just live in here and humans are just like create dust that's just what happens I do have an air purifier though which collects a lot of the dust but still so I'm gonna take this cloth that I just made damp with some water and I'm just gonna go around and like dust off any surfaces that I notice are like super dusty
so I know that I have like my planner that I like write all my to-do lists in but I actually am also kind of feeling like I want to start like bullet journaling or something because I feel like when I can like plan out or like write down all my ideas in like one place and just have them organized it makes things a lot less stressful it like takes the stress away from having to remember it in your head and keep track of it in your head if you're like keeping track of it in a journal and sometimes what I like usually just do is like write everything down in this book because like obviously there's a lot of empty space on this page but I think it would be fun to like start bullet journaling I actually have these notebooks that my mom gave to me a while ago because she thought they're really cute and she knows I love notebooks they're so pretty and I think that even though they're not bulleted, I think that I could use them to do like bullet journaling. Don't think it's really that big of a deal. I kind of want to open them right now and like start trying to make a bullet journal type thing. Mostly just for like my video ideas and stuff because a lot of times I have different video ideas. Like some days I feel like, oh my goodness, I have so many videos I could make. Like I have way too many videos. How am I going to get to them all? And then other days like today I'm like, I have no ideas. I am the most uncreative, uncrit. That's not a word. I am not creative at all. My videos suck. And it's just like, I feel like if I had them all written down in a cute little bullet journal, it would just make it so much easier on those days where I feel like I have no ideas because all my ideas would be written down. But I I'm gonna open one of these just cause they're pretty and I, I want to open them. Victor! Come on, let's go! It smells like smoke, like someone's having a bonfire. It's just the most delicious smell in the whole world. <laughs> Look at this sunset. Look at how pretty. So beautiful! Isn't that right, Dexter? Where are you going? Where are you going? Alright you guys, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because when I go home I'm really just gonna do kind of like wrap up stuff for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like because it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. I hope that you're having the most beautiful season. Dexter, Dexter, where are you going? No, 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 no. As I was saying, I hope that you're having the most beautiful season and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Dexter, say bye. Say bye. Dexter, you want to say bye, Jim? Can you say bye? Dexter says bye.